Hello, Epic Help here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the front brake pads on a 2013 Kia Rio. Here's the list of tools that I use for this job. Don't forget to block off your rear tires before jacking up your Kia and using your jack stand. So right here is the brake fluid reservoir. You want to take off the cap. And uh, that's the first thing you want to do in this job. Now you want to remove the two 14 millimeter bolts that hold on the brake caliper piston. Once you remove the bolts, the caliper piston should come off easily. There's a piece of metal on the inside brake pad that goes between the pad and the caliper piston. Don't forget to put this on the new brake pad. Now you want to remove the brake pads with a flat blade screwdriver. They are held in with brake pad retaining clips. I'm showing you a trick here so you can uh, squeeze the caliper back. So put this back on the brake pad if you accidentally took it off. And then you put this, you lay it in there. And then you take a four inch, I got a four inch clamp. And I'm going to just uh, use it to squeeze this together. Okay. Take the inside brake pad and lay it on the caliper piston. So you will have an easy time pushing your brake caliper piston down. This is why you take off the brake reservoir cap in the very beginning. This metal clip just snaps onto the new brake pad. Do this before installing your brake pads. If your new brake pads come with retaining clips, this is something that you can replace if you want to. You pull off the old clip with the screwdriver. The new ones snap in because they are new. It's a little harder to get your new brake pads in between them. I like to install the outside brake pad first. As you can see, the new retaining clips need to be pushed away from the brake pad in order to get the new pad installed. Do the same for the inside brake pad. If your brake fluid levels look good, put your cap back on. This job is done. Thank you for watching Epic Help. 